WWDC is approaching soon, so let's talk about what to expect. When is WWDC? It is Monday, June 4th, coming up the end of this weekend, 10 a.m. Pacific Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Where can you watch it? The Apple website on just about any device with just about any browser. You can watch it the WWDC app on your phone. You can watch it at the San Jose Convention Center if you are lucky enough to get a ticket, which is where they are hosting it. Now let's talk about some hardware that is expected to be released or not at WWDC. So we could see a new MacBook at WWDC, but probably no Mac Pro because we will see this later in a while. Uh, there will be no Apple Watch because the Apple Watch is usually released at the iPhone event, not WWDC. The iPhone SE has been expected for a while, the SE 2, but it probably won't be at this event, probably at the iPhone event, but it could be. Or it could get its own event. We'll see about that. The iPad, we probably won't get a new one because we just got the iPad 2018, but maybe we could see a new iPad Pro with Face ID. It is possible. We just haven't heard much leaks about it. Now, we were supposed to see the 10th anniversary Beats headphones, but they were already leaked, and we are now seeing ads for them. So they could be mentioned, but they won't be fully released then, because they've already been released. An analyst predicts we'll see a $250 Beats speaker that could have Siri. Maybe not. Maybe we'll see. I think it would have Siri. Now we're going to go on the software side of things. We'll see macOS 10.14. Uh, it'll have apps the same on iOS and macOS, and that's really the only feature that are really super big that we know about. Now, Apple Watch, we're seeing Apple Watch OS 5 with custom third-party watch faces, a new Pride watch face, which was discovered, and you can get it by setting your time ahead to after WWDC. So at about 12 a.m. Pacific Time or 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Now on to iOS. This is my concept for the iOS 12 logo design. Now, I picked this because it has to do with the clean look of iOS that is coming with bug fixes and performance improvements. And also has stuff like, it is very similar to the WWDC preview that we got. And lots of other things. So that's why I did this because iOS 12 was supposed to have bug fixes, performance improvements, make it overall nicer, improvements to AR kit, parental controls, digital health monitoring your phone usage like Android P has, and maybe a better Siri. I would hope for it, but I doubt it will happen. Apple TV OS 12, we don't know much about it. Uh, that's really all I have to say about that. HomePod, I, this is my, everything I'm about to say is completely my own speculation. I haven't seen this anywhere else. But we could see an official HomePod OS 2 making a debut, kind of as an operating system like everything else has. It would update Siri and HomePod, come out occasionally just like the rest of the operating system. And everything else has an operating system, like official operating system. So why not HomePod? And we could also see a speak kit for developers to make apps for HomePod, like the Alexa skills. We'll see, I would love it. Um, hopefully Apple does that. Now, I know that was a lot, but that is the whole speculation over WWDC, and we will see what happens on Monday. I'm Askar, thanks for watching. Hold on, I've got one more thing. Just a heads up, my WWDC video will be a little bit late because I have a meeting to attend, so sorry about that. It will be up though, hopefully that day. I'm Ed Skyler. Thanks for watching. Bye.